بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمد كثير طيبا مباركا في اخوتي في الله today i just want to review before we start we're going to start on page a safha a 16 a safha a 16 we're going to start on page number 60 I want to make sure that we understand this chapter very well. And I feel maybe yesterday we rushed a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm not going to measure this dose on the brothers that are quick and understand real quick, but I want to measure it on the people that are finding difficult to make sure that they understand. Now, if I teach and the ones who understand easily understand, that, that, that's not I mean I'm a good teacher. If I teach and the ones that are having trouble, they start understanding, ah, then that shows something there. Now, nah. so we want everybody to understand, <clears throat> brothers and sisters online, and you are with me. Hayakum Allah. So, so we, we just gonna we're gonna review this 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 page right here. You're gonna repeat after me. I'm gonna translate it. I just want everybody to understand what uh, ma'rifa and what nakira means. That's our point. Now, nah. and what our class is. Ma'am, a nakira is indefinite. Ma'rifa is definite. We have that. It says ikrat wafem. Now that you know what that means, we're going to read these uh, sentences. Keep in mind why is nakira. What's the sign that is nakira? And keep in mind what indicates that is ma'rifa. All right. Bismillah. You all read after me. Indi thawbun. Indi thawbun. Indi I have a thawb. I have a thawb. I have a tanween. Indi a thawb. Indi a thawb. I have the thawb. I have the thawb. Indi thawbun jadidun. Indi thawbun jadidun. I have a new thawb. I have a new thawb. Indi a thawbul jadid. Indi a thawbul jadid. I have the new thawb. I have the new thawb. Hal indaka qalamun. Hal indaka qalamun. Do you have a pen? Hal indak al qalam. Hal indak al qalam. Do you have the pen? Let's look. Let's let's go back to understand the importance of the tanween. If I said hal indaka qalam, and I don't say qalamun, it's it's possible that I could continue. And I say hal indaka qalamu Musa. I wasn't going to stop. Hal indaka qalam Musa. I say qalam. When you don't hear Tun Wayne, it's open. It's probable. Maybe you're going to continue. Maybe you're not going to continue. But when you give that listen at Tun Wayne, you've made it confirmed. You confirmed with him that your statement is over. Maybe you might come with a description, but your statement is over. Hal indaka qalamun aswad. Maybe I'll say aswad, but when he has qalamun, he understands that you stopped. So it's better than saying hal indaka qalam. That's good. That's good. It's, it's, it's correct. Now, -uh. but the Tanween, we want to learn Arabic with proficiency. Come with the Tanween. That shows that you purposely wanted to stop exactly where you wanted to stop. Now, -uh. and that you aimed and then you shot and that you think before you speak. Now, -uh. sorry, let's move on. Hal indaka qalamun aswadu. And we said that these colors, they don't get a tanween. That's not aswadun. These colors in Arabic, they don't get tanween. Uh -uh. They don't get a tanween. That's aswadu. Hal indaka qalamun aswad. Do you have a black pen? Hal indak al qalamul aswad. Hal indak al qalamul aswad. You have the black pen. 
هذا كتاب لزيد هذا كتاب لزيد this is a book for زيد هذا الكتاب لزيد هذا الكتاب لزيد this book is for زيد when you say هذا الكتاب that's not a complete sentence that's not a complete sentence if you want to say this is the book if you want to say this is the book you should say هذا هو الكتاب because that هو I'm just going to tell you all now that who is called the middle fossil. Fossil means it separates. You know, you know the word one fossil. So when you say how the whole kitab, that pronoun shows that this is the the the, the mubtada and khabar. What do you call that? The predicate and the, the subject and the predicate. Right. When you have huwa, that shows that this is the subject over there, and that's the predicate over there. That huwa is the middle fossil. Fossil means to separate, like we know the middle one fossil. It's from the same word. So if you want to say this is the book, you're not going to say Hadal Kitab. Because if you say Hadal Kitab, they might understand from you that this book, Hadal Kitab, this book, Lizaid. If you want to say this is the book, meaning like the book I was talking about, you want to say Hadahuwal Kitab. Hadahuwal Kitab. You want to say Huwa, because this word Huwa, you call that the mere fossil. It's going to separate. Fossil means separate. It's going to separate between the subject and the predicate. And there's no lips. There's not confusion there anymore. You understand? Brothers and sisters online, are you all with me? No. Tayyip, Tayyip. Barakallahu feekum. Let's continue. Indi haqibatun. Indi haqibatun. Indi haqibatun. I have a bag. Indi haqibatuka. I have your bag. This calf made that word ma'rifa definite. The calf, the damir mutasal, it makes it definite. Nah. So if we wanted, if we wanted to describe your bag, that description has to have an alif lam. Aina haqib indi haqibatuka al kabira. What does that mean? Who's going to answer? Indi haqibatuka al kabira. Have your big bag, but you can't say "Indi hakiba tuka kabiratun." Not like kabiratun. Like I have your big, I have your bag. It is big. Like no, nah, something, something's wrong. Nah. If that word is ma'rifa with with a calf, then that description has to be ma'rifa. Has to be ma'rifa. Uh -huh. Tayyip. Look at the sentence after that, and I teach that. That's why. That's why. Barakallahu fikum. You all bear with me. You all are studying today, but tomorrow you're teaching. Look at sentence number two. It has hal endika qalamun, but the second one is qalamun aswad. And if the other one is hal endik al qalam, then it's al qalam al aswad. So you can understand that. Yeah, Abdul Basid. No, don't say uh huh, and you don't get it. Look at number two. It says hal endika qalamun. Number two. Af af one. Number three. Number three. In the column. And just go down, look at number four. It says Kalaman Aswad. Right. So if you want to describe it, it has to be Nakira like it. Okay, let's go back up. It says Hal Indic Al Kalam. Al Kalam. I mean, do you have the pen? Now under it's the same exact sentence. So what's the point? What is the point? It's the same exact sentence. Just to teach you that when you describe it, it has to be ma'rifa like it. That's the only thing that's here. Listen. Today, you're studying the book. Tomorrow, you're teaching it. What's the point? I'm going to bring the same exact sentence. Yeah, Abdul Basit. Do you see that's the same exact sentence? Let's go back to the top. 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 Brothers and sisters online, are you with me? Are you all with me? It says, Indi Thalbun. Number one says Indi Thalban. Number two, underneath it says Indi Thalban Jatida. What's the point? What is the point? The point that if you're going to describe it, it has to be Nakira like it. That's the point. How about the same exact sentence? Let's go on the other side. It says Indi Athalb. I have the Thalb. 
in the Athab. Look underneath it. It says in the Athab Al Jadid. What's the point? Why would I bring the exact same <laughs> sentence? Just to show you that if you're going to describe the Thalb, it has to be Ma'rifa, Ya Harun. Are you with me? And all these sentences are. So now when you're teaching a book, don't let that students go past that and they don't pick that up from the book. They have to recognize that. that I came with the same exact sentence. All I did was add a description to the Thalb, but the first one is Nakira. It says Thalbun Jadidun. And that second one says Athalb Al Jadid. Brothers and sisters online. Are you all with me? Allah you bad fikum. Yeah, Edgar, you understand that? Yunus. Right. So let's go back down to where we were. We're here at Hal Indaka Kalamun Aswadu. Do you have a black pen? You all repeat after me. Hal Indaka Kalamun Aswadu. No, we, we passed that. No, we're down. We're, we're down on number eight now. I'm sorry. Indi Hakibatun Sauda'u. Okay, what's the difference between Sauda and Aswad? Sauda is feminine. And Aswad, ma'am. Is that part of the lesson? Did I bring that on purpose or just accidental? Purposely. Purposely. So when you teach the book, you have to point that out. You have to point that out. All right? Aswad is masculine. Look, Hakibatun has a tau on it. In the Hakibatun, that's the first sentence. This one's Hakibatun Sauda. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Hold on, Harun. Hold on, Harun. Hold on. Why did I use the word for color? Why did I use Aswad? Why did I use Azraq? Why didn't I use another color? Why I'm using the same color? So you can recognize that that one is masculine, this one is feminine. I didn't even change the color. Brothers and sisters online, are you all with me? If, if somebody, the, if they don't hear well, then they should go out and come back in. They should go out and come back in if you can't hear well. Now, um, yeah, Abdul Basit, did you understand what I just said? I use Aswad for the masculine, Sauda for the feminine. Nah, so you can be aware of that. Oh, right. I didn't, I didn't change the color. I could have said Qadra. I could have said green. I could have said blue. I could have said purple. Nah, but I want you want to simplify for the student as much as you can. Nah, Daya, what does this mean? In the Haqibatun Sauda, I have a black bag. Hal Indic. Al Hakiba to Sauda. Al Hakiba to Sauda. You got to have to go straight to that Aleph Lam. Straight to that Shadda, I mean. Al Hakiba to Sauda. Al Hakiba to Sauda. Tayyab, 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 Tayyab. Tayyab. Abihi this is a car. Hadihi Sayyara Tuna. This is a car. This is the car. Now we're going to add to this word. Same, same thing. We're going to add to Hadi Sayyara. We're going to add a description. But description has to be like that which preceded it. If it's Nakira, it's Nakira. I don't mean to bore you, young man. Open your book. Naam. Sayyam. هل عندك سيارة سوداء؟ سيارة سوداء. You can't say سيارة أسود because سيارة is feminine. How we know it's feminine? There's a تا مربوطة at the end of it right there. You can't say سيارة أسود. Can't say that. نعم. طيب. أين السيارة السوداء؟ أين السياره السوداء نعم 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 طيب بيتي في قريه صغيره بيتي في قريه صغيره we mentioned that shadda over the ya in qarya is a mistake my house is in a small village بيتي في القريه الصغيره 
بيتي في في القرية الصغيرة بيتي في القرية الصغيرة القرآن كتاب من الله القرآن كتاب من الله القرآن هو الكتاب من الله القرآن هو الكتاب من الله سو نعم محمد رسول من الله محمد رسول من الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إمام أحمد إن أبدا if he, if he wrote the Messenger of Allah's name, he would say it. And he wouldn't write Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he's busy trying to write the Hadith. Nah, um. So when you're writing back and forth with people and you're writing on your message, if you say the, if you write the Prophet, sometimes you don't have the, the time to write, you know, that thing. If you say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you've done the job. Nah, um. So the person doesn't have to tell you, you didn't write Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You say, I didn't write the other thing. And the whole message goes off on another tangent. Nah, um. That's sufficient to say it when you write it. I mean, right, to say it when you write it. Or oh, when you read it, it's easier. <laughs> no, <Nah>, but I'm saying that. Tayyip. Muhammadun Rasulullah. Muhammadun Rasulullah. You can say Muhammadun Huwa Rasulullah. Muhammadun Huwa Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ad-Durusu fi Masjidin Kabirin. The classes are in a big masjid. Adrusu fil masjid al kabir. Fil masjid al kabir. Al Muslimun ala sirat mustaqim. The Muslims are on a straight path. And it comes in the Quran, both. as siratul mustaqim And it comes in some other places, siratul mustaqim and nakira. It comes ma'rifa and it comes nakira. Do you understand what that means, brothers and sisters uh, and, 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 uh, online? This statement, it comes sometimes ma'rifa, sometimes it comes nakira. You understand what that means when I say nakira? It comes indefinite. Sometimes it comes with the alif and lam, and sometimes without. It comes like that in the book of Allah. In Surah Al-Fatiha, we say, "Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim." Alhamdulillah. Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim. Sayyid. Al-Muslimun ala Sirat Al-Mustaqim. The Muslims are on the straight path. I am. We're going to go to the homework go on page number sixty-three. We're going to read these straight on through, and uh, inshallah, we don't have to translate it, but we will. <coughs> these sentences are on the left hand side of Nakira, page number 63. These sentences are on the right hand side of Nakira. Look at the example. Haqibati fi sayyaratin kabiratin. My bag is in a big car. You have to change it to ma'rifa. You have to say it, change it to Hakibati Fis Sayyara Til Kabira. Mafhum, yeah, Isa, you understand that? You understand what we're doing? Yeah, brothers and sisters online, this is clear. All right. The next example is <clears throat> I wonder students are sick today. May Allah make it easy for him. No. May Allah cure. الحافلة أمام إمارة طويلة. What does that mean? The bus in front of a tall building. A tall building. A tall building. الحافلة أمام الإمارة الطويلة. الإمارة الطويلة. طيب عندك يا عبد الصبر. درسنا في مسجد جديد. نعم. درسنا في المسجد الجديد. Our lesson is in أي نو مسجد. Our message, our lesson is in the new مسجد. أنت معنا عبد الصطير. عندك يا إيسا. 
الكتاب في حقيبة بيضاء الكتاب في حقيبتك البيضاء that's good that's very good the book is in your white bag in your white bag you can say حقيبتك البيضاء or you can say في حقيبتي البيضاء or you can say في حقيبتنا البيضاء you can add any pronoun to that to make it معرفة you don't have to say في الحقيبة البيضاء you don't have to say it that way but you in this exercise you have to make it معرفة so you can say الكتاب في حقيبة محمد البيضاء and Muhammad's white bag. Brothers and sisters online, are you all with me? I'm going to say that again. الحقيبة الكتاب في حقيبة بيضاء في حقيبة بيضاء The book is in a white bag. Why do we have to say بيضاء? Because حقيبة is what? Is feminine. Bayda is feminine. Abyad is masculine. Abyad is masculine. So I have, I have to make this ma'rifa now. Now I have to make these two words ma'rifa, definite. How do you make something definite? What are the three ways to make something definite? The three ways. I want the brothers and sisters online to answer this. What are the three ways to make something definite? Alif walam, pronoun. I left lamb with pronouns. What else? I left lamb with pronouns. What else? Idafa, mashallah. Nice word. Naam, idafa. I mean, connecting it to something ma'rifa. It has to be ma'rifa what you're connecting it to. It has to be something that's ma'rifa. So you can say, Al Kitab fil haqiba al bayda. Al haqiba al bayda, the white bag. Or you can say, Haqibatika al bayda, your white bag. Oh, Hakibati Ummi Al Bayda, my mother's white bag. Ya Harun, you with us? Brothers and sisters online, are you with us? And this is giving you flexibility. It's giving you a chance to express yourself. Naam. When, when I was in Yemen, the, a brother wouldn't know how to say certain parts of his body. So he would come to the doctor and point at his neck and say, Tat Ban, Tat Ban. He doesn't know say my throat is hurting. I have pain in my throat. I have a sore throat. He just points at his neck and says, Mushkila, Mushkila. <laughs> you know, he doesn't know what else to say. And that troubled me. I was like, I, I, you, you have to be able to express yourself. Now, -uh. you have to point at your neck and say, problem, problem. Come on. And you're, you're a student of knowledge. Like, come on. That's not acceptable. Your honor for the Arabic language is like, no, I'm, I'm not going out like that. Mushkila, mushkila. I mean, come on. Sayyib. Sayyib, ya ikhwa. Indik ya Mahmoud. Al-Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Bazin, huwa alimun kabirun. Alhamdulillah. Huwa alimun kabir. He is the big scholar. الكبير. He's our, he was our big scholar. He's a scholar of the big scholar of the Muslims. Ah, brothers and sisters online, are you all with me? Alimul Muslimin Al Kabir. Naam, Naam, Naam. Tayyab Ya Isa. Ahmed wa Zaydun wa Amrun hum atibba'u fil mustashfa. Awalan, what does that mean, uh, Isa? Ahmed wa Zaydun wa Amrun hum atibba'u fil mustashfa. Wa Amr. Amr. Now. Hum atibba'u. There are doctors in the hospital. Atibba, what is the singular for Atibba? Tabib. Does Tabib have two bars in it? Tabib has two bars in it. So 
So the deck, that's why this here has a shudder. That means it's two bats. Okay. That's two bats. Okay. A tip bat. So how are you going to change that, uh, Lisa? Oh, well, well, how are you going to do it, Aleph Lamb? We're going to put the Aleph Lamb behind it, on top of it. Behind it? How are you going to do it? Tell me. No, nah, I don't believe you. Do it. Show me. <laughs> how would you say that? Al Atibbao Al Atibbao Fil Mustashwa. Get that word straight. That's a tricky word. It's Atibba. It's Atibba. Al Atibba. Atibba. Al Atibba. I want you to say this after me. Atibbao. Atibbao. Al Atibbao. Al Atibbao. Ahmed wa Zaydun wa Amrun hum Atibbaouna fil Mustashfa. Ah, ah, good, good, good. Naam, Zakalaka. See it? That, I, I, I don't even see these things, man. Right, there's there's a Haraka problem on, on Ahmadu. What page are we on? 63, number 4. Ahmed. Okay. Al Wisadatu wat Bataniyatu fi Urfatin Sagiratin. What does that mean first? Al Wisadatu wal Bataniyatu fi Urfatin Sagiratin. Pillow and the blanket uh, in the room. Fi qurfatin, sagiratin. That kind of way, it's like bang, bang, bang. Like it means it goes through your bones when you hear that, 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 that kind of way. In a small room. In a small room. We said the is pillow. Al botaniya is what blanket. Now, okay, how are you going to change that? Al we said that too. Al we said that too. Al we said that too. Ah, get that word straight. Uh, Look where the shudder uh, is. Al we said that too. Well, well, but Tonya. But Tonya. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, again, fee? Uh, fill Gurfatin Sergiratin. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta make it mighty, right? Right, make it mighty, Bob. Fill Gurfa two? No, it's, you make it a castle, right? Ah, for Gurfatin Tis Sergira. Okay, let's go. Nice and smooth, though. Okay, and we said too. Well, well, too. That's the problem, right there. So, so we got ah. Fil gorfatis sagirati. You all are after me. Fil gorfatis sagirati. You got to go straight to that out of lamb. Fil Gorfatis Sahirati. Fil Gorfatis Sahirati. Fil Gorfatika as Sahirati. Fil Gorfatiki as Sahira. Fil Gorfatina as Sahira. Fil Gorfati Abi as Sahira. ما معنى في غرفة أبي الصغيرة؟ In my father's small room. Brothers and sisters online. 
Are you all with me? Good, 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 good. Barakallahu feekum. Barakallahu feekum. And the Kya Abdul Basit. Healthy Darsiki Talibatun Jadidatun. What does that mean? Hmm. Healthy Darsiki. I'm asking about is, your. Is Oh, I'm not asking. No, I'm not. Healthy dars, healthy darsiki. Leave off the student at the end. Healthy darsiki. Tadi patun jadid atam. Bang what does that mean? Healthy darsiki. Healthy darsiki. Okay, Isma. Is there? Okay, yes. Abdul Basit. Abdul Basit. Listen to this. Take off hell. What does fi darsik mean? Fi darsik. Fee darsik. Fee darsik. In the no, darsik. In, in the lesson. In the lesson. Okay. darsik. It's darsik. There's a calf there. What does that mean? Darsik. Feminine what? No, 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 no. Don't jump. Let's go back to step one. Let's go back to step one. Fee darsik. What does that mean? In the lesson, Darcy Key, 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 what in her lesson? Key, 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 What does this calf mean? Your lesson, your lesson. So, what does feed Darcy Key mean? In your lesson, okay, let's go back. How feed Darcy Key? Fee, fee, we do you left fee off now. <laughs> How fee darsiki is in your lesson. Is there in your lesson? Tali button jadida tun. Students? A new uh, uh, a new new jadida tun. New student. Okay, what does the sentence mean now? Okay. Is is there in your lessons new students? New students? New okay, let's try one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. What does this mean? Healthy darsiki talibatun jadidatun. This is not healthy darsiki. What does that mean? Is there in your class your lesson talibatun jadidatun? Hey, a new student. And she's female. Is there in your class a new student? Is there in your class a new student? Got that, Abdul Basit? Mm -hmm. That's right. Good, good, good. How are you going to change that? We want it Ma'rifah now. Yeah. I see healthy Darsiki Talibatun Jadidatun. Darsiki. Darsiki. No, it's so slow now. Darsiki. No. Uh -uh. Darsiki. Darsiki. Stop right there. You can't stop. You can't stop. After the out of land, you can't say have the fill bait. You can't stop on the out of land, like in, in the middle of the word. So say healthy darsik. Okay, now, now make talibatun jadidatun alif wala. Make it make it ma'arifa. Ah. Ah. You can't say atalibah and put a tanween on it. You can't have alif lam and a tanween. Hmm. Attaliba, 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 you get the same one, uh, Abba Muhammad. Fee, Halfi, Darsiki, Taliba, Tun, Jadida, Tun. How do you change that? Talibatuna al Jadida. Oh, mashallah. Halfi Darsiki Talibatuna al Jadida is in your class our new student? Is our new student in your class? Is there in your class our new student? Talibatuna, Talibatuna al Jadida. Oh, a Talib al Jadida. Brothers and sisters online, brothers and sisters online. Alf no, you can't see. You can't say. Ah, slow down. Ad darsiki. You can't put that alif lam on ad darsiki. Take that alif lam off of ad darsiki. Don't put the alif lam there. 
Leave that the same. It can't have an out of lamb, the dos, and a pronoun, the your dos. The yours. Is it for your class or the class? Barakalafi. Listen, we learn from our mistakes. The mistake in it is baraka. The mistake in it is baraka. Yeah. Edga. What does that mean? Okay, Azraq, brothers and sisters online. Azraq. What does that mean? Had in blue. Good. Very good. Very good. Okay, how do you change that? Hal indaka. Al Kalamul Azraq. Kalami al Azraq. Kalami Azraq. Do you have my blue pen? Hal inda kalami al Azraq. Do you have my blue pen? Hal indak al kalam al azraq. Do you have the blue pen? Naam. Tayyab, Tayyab, Ya Yunus. Indi kitabun akhar. What does that mean? Indi kitabun akhar. I have another book. I have another book. I have the other book. Now, how are you going to change that? Indi al kitab al akh. I have the other book. I have the other book. Uh -uh. On both of them. Al Kitab Al Akhar. Al Kitab Al Akhar. The other book. Al Kitab Al Akhar. What if I say, Indi Kitabuk Al Akhar? Indi Kitabuk Al Akhar. What does that mean? Indi Kitabuk Al Akhar. I have your other book. I have your other book. Hal Indi Kitabi Al Akhar. Do you have my other book? Hal indik kitabi al akhar. You have my other book. Brothers and sisters online. Naam, I have your other book. This is, this is, so listen, brothers and sisters. This is just a format. You're going to build from this. You're going to branch out from this. This is just to lay down a blueprint for you. But you're going to move from this. Naam. Tayyab, ya. This is the last one, number nine. Good. Indik ya, Abdul Sabur. Muhammad who a Nabiun mean Allah. He is a prophet from Allah. How would you change that? Who a Nabi you mean Allah? No, no, change just to change that one now. Who a Nabi? Who is the prophet from Allah? Who a Nabi you now mean Allah? He's our prophet from Allah. Sorry, brothers and sisters, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back if there's no questions. Going right back to page number 62, right? That's where we at now. Page number 62. You all are going to read after me. Page number 62. We have work to do. We have work to do. Page number 62. Hey, Warren, they not at the summit. What does that mean, brothers and sisters online? Hey, Warren, they not at the summit. Oh, hold on, hold on. Somebody said, why are there two ton wings on a tip bag? There are two ton wings there, yeah. Two ton wings? No two ton wings. Oh. I didn't understand that question. There's no two ton wings on a tip bag. For a tip bar. Why is there two ten wings? There's no two ten wings on a tip bar. So I have conversation between Abdul Summit and who? Nah. A conversation between Abdul Summit. Oh no. I meant ten wing. Why is there no ten wing? Why is there no ten wing? Okay. We'll get into that later, yeah, Ikhwa. We'll get into that later. What if I would tell you that it's Mum North Minnesota? Where, 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 where are we gonna go? If I, <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, that's, 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 let's just get into how to make it singular, how to make it plural, how to make it indefinite, how to make it definite. That's that's a, that's a, your cup runneth over. Your cup runneth over. Like that. Okay. Now, this is a conversation between Abdul Summit and who? We're going to read and then we're going to come back and look at the meaning. You all are going to repeat after me. We're not going to read the names of the people in the dialogue. Abdul Samit in Hood. Aina Daftari 
أين دفتري؟ هناك دفتر صغير على الأرض. هناك دفتر صغير على الأرض. لا دفتري كبير. لا دفتري كبير. الدفتر الكبير على الرب الدفتر الكبير على الرف وأين قلمي؟ وأين قلمي؟ هناك قلم أسود على المكتب. هناك قلم أسود على المكتب. لا قلمي أزرق. لا قلمي أزرق. القلم الأزرق في مخبئك. Let's get that out of line. What's going on with your tongue? Your tongue sound lazy today. Y'all got to do some dumping jacks. Y'all got to stand up, wiggle your arms like, and go back. To, come on, get it out and clear, nice and clear. القلم الأزرق في مخبئك. القلم الأزرق في مخبئك. أين حقيبتي؟ وأين حقيبتي؟ هناك حقيبة ثقيلة أمام الباب. هناك حقيبة ثقيلة أمام الباب. لا حقيبتي خفيفة. لا حقيبتي خفيفة. الحقيبة الخفيفة في الفناء. الحقيبة الخفيفة في الفناء. Sorry, brothers and sisters, go back to the top. We've done a lot today. Let's start translating, brothers and sisters, online. Let's get the job done. Ain't a deaf teddy, brothers and sisters, online. We're going to get that. Somebody said, That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get all this down. Ain't a deaf teddy. Where's my notebook? هناك دفتر صغير على الأرض. هناك دفتر صغير. What does that mean, brothers? هناك دفتر صغير. What does هناك mean? Over there. Over there. There. هنا هنا means here. هناك there. هنا means here, close to you. Hunaka is over there. Hunaka over there, there's a small notebook on the ground. Brothers and sisters, are you with me? There is a small notebook on the ground. Good. La, Daftari Kabirun. Daftari Kabirun. What does that mean? So I, I want you all to recognize. I want you all to pick up from this lesson. I want you all to pick up from this lesson. It's ma'arifa and nakira, na'am. But when you have a ma'arifa, then a nakira, that's a complete sentence. If you have two nakiras, that's not complete. Daftarun sagirun, it's not complete. Walid kabirun, not complete. Al-walid kabirun, ah. 
That's a sentence. A sentence is going to be ma'rifa, then nakira. Ma'rifa, then nakira. If it's two ma'rifas, a daftar al-kabir is not complete. The big notebook is not complete. A daftar al-kabir, the big notebook is not complete. If I wanted to be complete, I have to say, a daftar, who, I have to come with something else, okay? Say it. This is what we want to pick up from this while we're going through. So let's stop. Now we have, let's see where we're at. Hunaka daftarun sagirun alin out. There is a small notebook on the ground. La daftari kabirun. My notebook is big. My notebook. Is that ma'rifa or nakira? Daftari. Is that ma'rifa or nakira? Ma'rifa. Kabirun. Is that ma'rifa or nakira? That's how a that's how a sentence is in Arabic. That's how a sentence is in Arabic. You have to come with ma'rifa and you have to come with nakira. <laughs> that, that you can't you can't speak like that. Dar sa'ab. You can't say that. You have to you you have to say dar si sa'bun. You, you, the speaker, you have to know that a sentence is the predicate is what the, the subject is going to be ma'rifa and the predicate is going to be naked of brothers and sisters online. I want you to pick that up from the story here. Not just people learn Arabic just from vocabulary words. So they go, what do you mean? Kabir. What are you trying to say? Ta'am Laviv. Ta'am Laviv. Food, good. Food is good, the food will no, what, what? So when you speak, what, what is a complete sentence in Arabic? It's going to be ma'rifa and then nakira. You're the speaker. How do you make something ma'rifa? You can put it out of lamb, you can put a pronoun on it, or you can put it, you can attach it to something. That's that 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 that's also You're the speaker. Don't come like that. Ta'am Laviv. Those are the people who think that Arabic is just a bunch of vocabulary words and it's like a puzzle. You just you just you just put those two together, you put those two together, you just put those two together, you put three of them together. And in the middle of it, you say yatni yatni. Why what you're doing that? You just say yatni yatni. And then you think you have to marry, but no, you, you, you listen when you speak Arabic, you honor Arabic, you're privileged to study this language from right now from Jump Street. Nah, I, I'm not speaking like that. I am not speaking like that. I know what a sentence contains. What makes a sentence? What makes a sentence? Ma'arifa nakira. Nah, so don't open your mouth. I said, you got that in mind. What if I come with two nakiras? Baytun sagirun. You ain't say nothing. Bayti sagirun. Now you said something. Bayti sagirun. Now you said something. Tie up, tie up, tie up. Yeah, Isa, you understand what I'm saying? Tie up. A daftar al kabir al raf. What does that mean, brothers and sisters online? A daftar al sagir al raf. الدفتر الص عفوا الدفتر الكبير على الرف. What does that mean? The big notebook is on the rough. That's where we at, right? Yeah. On the rough, on the shelf, on the shelf. Tell your brothers and sisters online. Look, look at this. Look at this. الدفتر الكبير. That's not a complete sentence. That's not a complete sentence. A daftar al kabir. That's not a complete sentence. You have to finish it. That's a description. Al kabir, you just describe that word. Listen, I can leave off that word kabir. I can say a daftar al al rub. I can say a daftar al al rub. I don't need kabir. That's just a description. You ain't saying nothing. Mahmoud, you understand what I mean? You didn't say nothing because you came with another word. It has to be what? It has to be ma'rifa, then nakira. Or ma'rifa, or a phrase like al raf or fil hatiba, or like that. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. 
Wa aina qalami. Wa aina qalami. What does that mean? Wa aina qalami. And where's my pen? Hunaka qalamun aswad ala al maktab. Mother and sisters online. Hunaka qalamun aswad ala al maktab. Hunaka qalamun aswad ala al maktab. Over there is a black pen on the desk. There is a black pen on the desk. La qalam yi azraqu. What does that mean, brothers? La qalam yi azraqu. No, my pen is blue. Qalam yi ma'rifa. Azraq nakila. My pen is blue. You cannot say qalam azraq. You can't say that. Qalam azraq. You can't say that. You can't say al qalam al azraq and then be quiet. You can't say that. You can't say that. All right. La qalami azraq. No, my pen is blue. Al qalam al azraq fi makhba'ik is in your pocket. It's in your pocket. Wa khaba'a, khaba'a means to hide. Naam. There's another word that uh they use for pocket. Who knows? Another word they use for pocket? Jabe. They use this word jabe. Okay, what is the jabe? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wal yadribna bi khumurihinna ala juyubihinna ala juyubihinna Juyub is the plural for jabe and jabe is your collar here. Is your collar. It's your collar. And Allah says, Wal yadribna bi khumurihinna the woman is the khima has to go over their jab, over their collar, over their chest to cover the shape of their breast. It can't just start from here. And from here, it's going to explain it. But when it comes from up here and it covers, it covers. When it comes from the head, it covers. That's where the jab is. A jab is this area here. And people used to put their money there. Now, um, and so they call that a jab. Now, they used to put their money inside. Their collar and inside this, this collar on your shirt, they put their shirt, their, their money inside there. Ma'am, but a jabe is this ring here, this this collar on your on your shirt. Ma'am, brothers and sisters online, are you all with me? So you can use the word jabe. It's, it's permissible, just like what it. You can use wallet for what? For meaning boy, but really means something else. But jabe, you can use it for pocket. But in the book of Allah, jabe. Is where you drop your khima over. It's the collar on your chest when you wear your clothing. They have their khimas have to fall over their gym. So a woman can't wear a, a, a khima like this and wrap it behind her head and her clothes describe the shape of her breast. No, it has to come from her head. Who would design something like that? Who would design something like that? The one who created her. Nah. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Laysa minna. Man daraba al khudud wa shakka al juyu wa da'a bida' wal jahili. He's not from us. Ladi daraba al khudud that slaps his face when he's sad when somebody died. Oh, shakka al juyu. He takes his shirt and he rips it. This is the jab. Shakka al juyu. He takes his shirt from here because he's upset when he's singing and he rips it. He's not from us who does that. This is the jab. And the plural is what? Juyu. He grabs his collar of his shirt, or she grabs the collar of his shirt, and he rip it. Now, -uh. brothers and sisters online, are you all with me? So, what do I say? I say Jay. <laughs> when I'm talking about pocket, I say Jay. If I said Machbaek, the people's eyebrows is going to go up, <laughs> and the other ones going to go down, and they're going to say, "What are you talking about?" The Arabs who speak Arabic, they don't know that word. Now, -uh. What's that? Now nah, your pocket, makbaik. Now nah, your pocket. The word is makba. The word is makba. Khaba means to hide. Makba, the place where you hide something. Nah, makba ik means your pocket. Brothers and sisters online. Oh man, now you're gonna embarrass me like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna ask me for the blow. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the flow of you. All right. Aina Hakibati. 
brothers and sisters online. Wa aina hakibati. Can you drop the pen and it comes becomes pen in your pocket? Can you drop the pen? Al qalam. Uh huh. Can you drop the pen and it becomes pen in your pocket? Al qalam fi maqbar. Ma, I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand that question. Uh, blue. Uh, uh, you can use. You can use. You can leave off. You can leave off blue. You can drop blue. Al qalam fi maqbar. Yeah, you could. You can leave off blue. You can drop off blue. Nah, -uh. you can leave off blue. Blue is just a description. It's just a description. Okay. Taya wa ina haqiba ti qala. Hunaka haqiba tun thaqila tun amam al bab. Hunaka haqiba tun thaqila tun amam al bab. Hunaka haqiba tun thaqila tun amam al bab. What does that mean? There is a heavy bag in front of the door. Over there is a heavy bag in front of the door. La haqibati khafifatun. La haqibati khafifatun. No, my bag is light. My bag is light. Haqibati ma'rifa. Khafifatun nakira. Naam. Al haqibatu al khafifa fil fina. Well, fina means house. It's in the yard. Fina means house. Al house, al yard. Uh, we had that word house before. Huh? Fina? Ma, I don't know. Fina. We're gonna give you that for homework. Okay. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, that's our class for today. I wanted us to do something with the with the pronouns, but we'll do that first thing in the morning. Okay. Look at what what could you have here for homework? On page number 64, you have Hal Endik Al Imama Al Baydah. You have to change it to Nakira. Hal Endik Imamatun Baydah. On page number 64. On page number 64. Al Endik Al Imama Al Baydah. Do you have the white imama? Hal endeka imama tun baydaw. You have now you're doing the opposite. Abi huwa tabib. My father is the doctor. Abi huwa tabibun. He is a doctor. Brothers and sisters online, is that clear? Okay, before we stop, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you all something, and I want you all. So we're going to have this for homework tomorrow. You all bear with me. Go back to page number 58. We're going to stop here because it's 9 o'clock here. Be prepared to run all these words down because tomorrow we're going to do a drill on the pronouns. Now, um, so I'm going to say, Kitabi fi haqibati. Kitabuna fi haqibati. Kitabuka fi haqibati. Kitabuki fi haqibati. I'm going to give you a word. Qalam. And then you, fi haqibati. Qalami fi haqibati. Qalbuna fi haqibati. Qalmuka fi haqibati. Qalmuki fi haqibati. Then we're going to add a word to it. Hal kitabi fi haqibati. Hal kitabuna. I'm going to put hell in front of it. Strap up. Put your seatbelts on. You're with me. Brothers and sisters online, prepare. We're gonna go through this tomorrow. We have to keep. We have to keep. We have to keep practicing. We're trying to get it with perfection. All right. This is where we're gonna stop. You have the homework. Inshallah, everything will be good. We're gonna stop here. I think we had a good class today. May Allah reward you all. Subhanakallah, wa bihamdik. Shalallahu ilaha illa ant. Stuck for the quad. Relay. Yeah, <laughs> one second.